right, not today. I'm gonna look for some bluegills in a river here, uh, maybe some bass and see what we can catch. Uh, this is a confluence here. You can see the rafters behind me, they're going down the Lehigh River. Uh, there's an intersection here, the ca an old canal way runs this way. And then if I look right behind me, the creek behind me here is the Poopoco Creek. So it runs into the river and then the canal intersects with both. So they, could, they used to run uh, coal and mining goods and stuff like that down the river here a long time ago. They, there's a, if I turn around this way, you'll be able to see the, the white out in the water a little bit. You'll be able to see the old lock behind me. It's right over my shoulder. Uh, as you can see, it hasn't been used in a very, very long time. This is a good spot to fish when you get an intersection of three waterways like that. Uh, I know there's some big bluegills in here, so I'm gonna see what we can do. It's a little green sunfish from the river. Pretty cool. Back he goes. Pretty ironic that I caught him on my river monster pole. Thanks, Jeremy Wade. Oh, he's pretty. Look at that. I couldn't, have, couldn't airbrush this fish any better than what he is. Look at that. Another river green sunfish. Is that not pretty or what? Look at that. There we go, that's a better picture. Awesome. Quick. There he is. Wild River Sunfish. Back he goes. I'm just using uh, real ultralight, like I said, my Jeremy Wade River Monster Edition rod. There you go. The real, little ultralight reel. Four pound mono, uh, direct to a jig. A little lead head jig, just using a little bit of mealworm as bait, and that's it. Simple as can be, seems to be working.
nice big bluegill there. Another nice bluegill. Hold them up here for you. Another male bluegill. You can tell because of the color. The males are usually real vividly colored. They have the blue, and the purple, and then the orange belly. Sometimes this is real red. When they get older, then they're going to get a hump on their head. Very good to eat. That's what we came looking for right there. That's a big old bluegill, big male bluegill. Beautiful. Well, ooh, settle, 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 settle. There is the third and final species of the day. This is a pumpkin seed. All right, settle down, little fish. This is a pumpkin seed, as you can see by the color. Real bright orange and bright iridescent blue. There are different species for today, so that was pretty cool. You see, I took them on a little mealworm on a little tiny jig. This is a pretty small one. They get much bigger than this, but... Alright, let's unhook them and let them go. Just pop it right out. There he is. And that's it for today, because I'm cooked. <laughs> Time to go home.